enjoying this. Top of the morning, middle of the evening, bottom of the afternoon. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Fresh, and I am back with another video. And it's been a while, you guys. Um, but today, I am here to talk about turnover and dialysis. Um, someone requested this a while ago, and I said, sure, you know, I'll come on here, talk about it, you know, tell you guys how I manage turnover, and hopefully it can help you guys because turnover is not easy. For those of you who are new to it or are thinking about going into it, turnover is when um, we start preparing the next shift of patients to come in while we are getting the current patients ready to leave treatment for the day. Um, so if you guys are ready, here goes. Um, so... I work MWF, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, in my building, we have MWF and TTS. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have three shifts. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, we have two shifts of patients. Um, so uh, we start mm, between 5.45 and 6 o'clock in the morning. That's going to be your easiest shift, which is, can sometimes be a little... Um, it can be made to seem as though things are very easy and it's going to fly by easy in the day, but it's not. You are preparing things before the patients actually get into the clinic so you're not as stressed or so worried about doing things. And um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm laughing at my dad. Um, but yeah, so you know, you kind of are already set up or setting up things before the patients get in there versus them already being in the chair you having to take them off, having to hold accesses until they start bleeding and then setting up and cleaning. Um, so what I like to do is while my first shift of patients are on the machines, I like to go and get the rest of my day prepared. And what I mean is I'll go and pick up my, pick up my flow sheets for my second and my third shift patients. Once I do that, I like to make the packs. If you go back a couple of videos and I put the link in the description for that video where I made packs for the patients, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So I make the packs for the second and third shift. And if I don't do it my first shift, I even make my packs for first shift tomorrow, which we are required to do in my clinic. Um, so after I do that, that includes getting the dialyzer, the, the um, lines the saline things of that nature and i just set it up on a desk and just have it ready to go that's one way i help myself to manage turnover another way is when my patient gets down to like the last three to five minutes i'm going in the system and i'm beginning to do some documentations that will begin to end their treatment like i'll go in and i'll sign their hating maintenance for heparin, their heparin maintenance. I will make sure their vitals has been signed. I'll even go as far as to start ripping off the tape and lining it up on their um, chair side. I may make sure my gauze is ready. I will get out my 10 ml saline and you know open that and sit it there. And if they use clamps, I'll have my clamp over there by their chair side and everything. I'll do everything possible to try to make that process easy because sometimes you may think that you have 45 minutes in between your patients but if your patient is coming off at 9 15 and your next patient is supposed to be on at 10 o'clock that time goes by like this if you don't know if that patient is going to bleed you don't know um if the machine is going to fail a test you don't know what's going to happen in between that and which some of you guys who are just starting out need to understand is that turnover comes with time that speed for turnover comes with time and even some people who have who have been doing this for a long time still end up falling behind turnover is one of the most easiest points where you can fall behind and one little setback can delay the rest of your day um sometimes if you have a supportive team and they have downtime they will come and try to help you out but don't panic turnover is what it is you know any and everything can happen during that time um just be prepared get done what you can get done and you know 
don't wait to the last minute to do things. Don't wait to the very last minute to make your bucket. If your patient coming off at 9 15, make that bleach bucket at nine o'clock the latest. You know what I'm saying? Get your labels ready for that. Do things like that. Um, what else can I tell y'all? Um, you know, uh, nothing really. Be patient with yourself. Keep talking. I ain't, I ain't oh, keep oh, um, be patient with yourself. Say hi, look up. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> be patient with yourself. Um, give your time yourself time to um understand it, to know that there are gonna be errors, know that hiccups are gonna happen, but just be okay with it. There's nothing you can do. You can't perfect a turnover. You cannot. Um that aside, if you guys have made it to this part in the video, do me a favor and go to the comments and drop an orange heart down below because I'm about to drop some news on y'all. Two pieces of news, okay? One, give you another second because I know that you probably said, man, I ain't dropping no heart. Go down to the comments, drop an orange heart so I know that you made it to this point in the video so that I can go ahead and drop this other news on y'all real quick. I'll wait. Come on, man. I'm too excited. I got to share this news with y'all. Okay, I'm going to trust you at this point. I just want to come now and say thank you to you guys. Your girl finally hit 1K subscribers on the channel. It was February the 6th. I got the notification at 3.45 p.m. That's how you know I'm so pressed.com. Um, I'm excited. I didn't think that I would ever get here. So I just want to say thank you to you guys. I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for all the support uh keep rocking with me keep riding with me um we're going to continue to go up from here um let me i meant to snapshot this for y'all because i need y'all to if you ain't subscribed but you watching the videos you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because 98 percent of my viewers are not subscribed okay i need y'all to come on get on board be committed be solid like i'm committed to y'all um and let's you know run these numbers up okay help the girl out okay also um, as I'm trying to go grow, y'all drop some um, comments in the description. I mean, drop some comments down below about which I want to see. This is my life. It's not just dialysis. I am more than dialysis. So what else do y'all want to see? What else do y'all want to see me try? Um, I like to eat. So I was thinking about, I might be, I might want to do like a food truck adventure. You know, once some of this pandemic clears up. But um, yeah, you know, let's come on, y'all. Interact with me more. I want to give y'all more. I want to do more with you guys. And let's go. Second piece of information. Your girl passed that CCHT bar. She passed that CCHT bar. Press.com. Huh? Today, February 27, 2021, I took that exam at 8 a.m. I was out of there by, I mean, excuse me, at 9 a.m. I was out of there by 11. I'm so pressed. I'm so happy. Happy. I'm so grateful to God. Thank you, Lord, because, listen, I was so stressed. I mean, when I tell y'all, I put everything on pause trying to study for this exam and being so anxious and nervous and worried. Listen, I passed. I'm excited. I'm so happy. Throw some more orange hearts down below for your girl because I did it. And I'm going to share my experience with you guys in another video. But for now, um, I hope that um, the turnover information was something beneficial. It wasn't a lot. There's no secrets to it. You know, there are only things that you can do and develop and learn along the way. But there is no perfect turnover. Um, if you're lucky to have one, that is awesome. But there are always going to be things that may or may not happen so just roll with the punches and just keep your head up and keep pushing through i'm still here you guys can do it too if y'all heard all these cars in the background i'm sorry y'all see that hip-hop chicken sign <laughs> the girl is hungry so anyway i will talk to you guys soon i love you guys bye